Hey there, my name is Wolfgang, welcome to the channel. Now when Airbnb first started, it was just a way to get people to rent out like your summer home or whatever for a week. But since then it's just gotten bonkers, there are so many weird places on there that you could rent out. And today we're going to look at a few of them, so let's dive right in. So the first place we have here is the Seashell House, which is in Isla Mujeres, Mexico. And yeah, it looks like it's pretty much exactly what you would expect. It is a house that's in the shape of uh, seashells. So if you're a big fan of Little Mermaid, this place is for you. So here you have beach access, Wi-Fi, you have air conditioning. Uh, you don't have a carbon monoxide alarm or a smoke alarm either, but uh, you, you don't need that. You're in a you're in a seashell. Oh wow, yeah, this place looks luxurious. Sleep in a true plane. If you ever wanted to sleep in a plane, not that you can't just do that by taking a flight, but yeah. Now I know you don't think you can get any classier than sleeping in an airplane, but here's a fucking castle that you can actually rent out. This is not a joke. This is in Ireland. It's a castle. I'm just curious. Let's find out how much this costs. Let's say I want to go to a castle in May from Sunday to Sunday. Wow. It is $1,700 per night to stay in this castle. So if you stay there for seven nights, it's going to cost you a cool $11,000. Uh, <laughs> um, I think there are better ways to spend your money, but... Oh, it comes with a crib. That's nice. You can bring your baby to the castle. Okay, what really blows my mind and kind of bothers me is that people are reviewing this as if it's just a hotel. Look at this guy. We had a post-vaccine family reunion here and these people made sure our stay was hassle-free. The castle itself was well equipped for our family needs. Bro, it's a castle. What do you mean your family needs? It was equipped for your family needs. Does your family need to defend themselves from fucking Mongols on horseback coming to attack your castle? What are your family needs that require a castle? A very special place was a wonderful weekend. You were in a castle! That cost almost $2,000 a night. That's all you have to say? V great place that I would definitely recommend. The owner was very responsive and very hospitable. The kids loved it. Oh my god. You brought your children to a fucking castle for vacation? Do you have any idea how spoiled these kids are? These are going to be the worst adults when they grow up. Oh, look at this. It says, no parties or events. You're not, you're not allowed to have a party in the castle. What are you worried is going to happen? People are going to knock over your knight in armor? Or they'll spill beer on the concrete floor? So if you've ever wondered what it's like to live in Area 51, you can stay at the Taos Mesa Studio Earthship in New Mexico. Honestly, I don't even know what this is. Looks like a nuclear fallout bunker. But if you want to stay here, you can. It's in the middle of the desert. Looks like there's lots of fun things to do around there. By the way, in case you were wondering, it says here they do in fact have a backyard. So in case you were worried that there was no backyard. <laughs> wow, isn't this pretty? You can stay in a freaking crane. A literal construction crane. I mean, it, the inside looks nice, but I mean, it looks very nice. But then you go outside and you're literally on a crane on a dock. This is what it looks like. It lo it's just a crane. Why would you want to pay to go there? I don't know. By the way, it's $440 a night to stay in a crane. If you want to feel like you're a crane operator, but not actually be one, and pay $400 a day for it, you can go here. Wait, let me look at the reviews. Das war ein sehr besonderes... I what? Liebe zum Detail. Why is there so many, like, Dutch reviews on this page? Oh, it's in Amsterdam. Okay. Amsterdam is a very famous place to go on, like, honeymoons and... I don't know. So, if you want to have your honeymoon in Amsterdam, you can do it... In a crane. It says it's not suitable for children and infants. Yeah, I hope not. I mean, it's a crane. They're gonna fall, like, 1,500 feet if they walk out the door. Again, no parties. They don't want people falling to their deaths on the dock. Okay, I've yet to find one that I would actually pay to stay at, and this one's no exception. You can stay in a deluxe covered wagon near Las Vegas. Wow. So if you really don't want to have to pay the crazy prices of a Las Vegas hotel, you can, you can experience what it was like to be a farmer in Oregon in the 1800s. I mean, just looking at this, I feel like I'm going to get dysentery. I don't think I would want to stay there. Even the inside doesn't look comfortable. It's, it's like two bunk beds. It looks like a military base. <laughs> well, I got it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it comes with mo many modern amenities, clearly. They have a toaster that looks like it was probably designed within this sanctuary. And 
they have cow mugs. So that's a benefit to staying here. No smoking. Yeah, I mean, I guess it might light the whole place up. Okay, this one. This one is just the Teletubbies house. And you can't tell me otherwise. That's, that's just what this is. It says it's a romantic and magical hobbit retreat. <laughs> Imagine if you get married and your significant other surprises you by bringing you to a magical hobbit retreat in Cheshire, East England. Okay, I have a question for you that you have to answer very honestly. Have you ever wanted to sleep in a mushroom? Now, if you're like most people, your answer is, well, obviously yes, right? Thankfully, you actually can stay in a mushroom at La Redonda, which is a, a tiny house in Jalpan de Sera, Querétaro, Mexico. Um, it's $56 a night, which is very uh, affordable. <laughs> it's one bedroom. And yeah, you're literally in a uh, like a little mushroom house. I don't know what the design of this house is. This is a normal design for houses in this pueblo of Mexico, but uh, it looks like a mushroom to me. Okay, next question. Have you ever wanted to live in a cow? Obviously, your answer is yes. Congratulations. Now you can stay in this terrifying um, whatever this is. This weird failed art project. This, you know what this is? I'll tell you right now what that is. This is a serial killer's cabin. And right now, inside of there, there is a serial killer cutting off people's fingers and stuff like that. That's the only possible... that's all that this can be. Either that, or it's a big trash bin that they converted into a house. How does somebody even live in here? There's no way this is... that it, this... what? Huh? Oh my god, this looks so cramped and uncomfortable. Look at these photos! You do you sleep up there? That's where you sleep! What? How... how small do you have to be to fit there? Oh my, that's a coffin. You know, that that is a coffin. This is a serial killer's house, I'm, I swear to God. Okay, you know what, I probably shouldn't be saying this stuff because they, they this person actually makes money off this house and they'll like sue me or whatever. There's no bathrooms, by the way. A unique place to stay, yeah, I'm sure. It's a mix between camping, glamping, and a caravan. No, it's not. Situated on a clean and quiet farm park. Yeah, nice far away from all of society, I bet. The cow shed provides a great place to escape. Please note that the Wi-Fi can be in intermittent. Yeah, I bet. I bet as soon as all the lights go out, so does the Wi-Fi. Guests are welcome to have access to the park out of hours and see our team in action, feeding and mucking out the animals. Wow, that sounds wonderful. Enjoy the full farm experience. This is great. Guests can explore the farm out of hours and even help give the animals breakfast and clean out their stables. Wow, lucky you. You can pay $146 a night to sleep in the smallest, most terrifying looking cow shed in the world not that there are too many of those and you can also feed the cows and do manual labor at a farm unpaid there's no carbon monoxide alarm either this one's actually kind of cool all right this is a this is a world war ii train apparently and it looks just like a normal house from the inside when you're looking at it kind of right and then you realize it's a goddamn train like for real this is an actual train and it has a TV, look at that. You got a TV and you're in a train. Boathouse. You can be in a boat. Oh, actually, no, sorry. The title of this one is just Ark. It's in Tennessee. So for like 200 bucks a night, you can stay in this tiny boat house. It's, it's actually kind of cool. Let me know in the comments below if you would stay in any one of these places. And if so, which one you would stay in. Because so far, none of these seem very interesting to me. Is that a giant electric chair? Yeah, this is terrifying. Um, this one. Look at this. Wow, what a nice house that is, right? Where's the house, you ask? It's underground. This is a World War... This is a Cold War relic. It's a missile silo. That's what it looks like underneath. That's what it looks like when you're in the ground. Yep, that's... Look at this stairwell. Hmm. Nice and industrial. Feels just like home. Wow. Oh, yeah, this looks... This doesn't look like a horror movie setting at all. Look, there's a toilet. Uh, look, you got a picture of a... a beam. Wow. Yeah, that beam takes up a, actually a very significant portion of the room that you're in. <laughs> is that the beam where the, the missile is supposed to be launched from? Yeah, wow, look at that. That looks, uh... Great. I'd love to pay to stay here. Look at all these pictures of rusty metal. Cool. Huh! It's... never mind, it's not $200 a night, it's $600 a night. What are you, your freaking mind? You couldn't pay me to sleep in a missile silo. 
I didn't see one photo of a bed. All I saw was rusty girders and like giant silo where a missile is supposed to come out of. How do I know that there's not a missile at the bottom of that thing that's gonna come out? Oh, sorry, it comes with two single beds and two air mattresses. Really living in luxury here for 600 freaking dollars a night. How do people justify staying underneath the ground like this? This person says just do it. No! I'm not gonna just do it. You're crazy. I'm not trying to say that this is a bad thing or anything, it's just very much not for me. I understand some people might like this. I mean, if you want to stay there, go for it, but... Me? This one. This one's called the Hobbit House. Yeah, we have another one of these freaking things. Another Hobbit House. In Tennessee. Uh, this looks like the house in Banjo-Kazooie. That's what I think it looks like. It's kind of... Bare bones. It looks like the whole thing is made of clay. It's kind of cute though, to be honest. Now is there any guarantee that if it rains, the whole house isn't just gonna turn from clay to mud? No. But... But it does have a half bathroom. Uh... And it's only... It's under $100 a night, so... So if you're like a super big nerd and you love The Hobbit, you can stay in this place. And, um... Be completely excluded from the outside world like you already are. Okay, that's mean, I'm sorry. If you're a big fan of Star Trek, you can live in this, uh, you could stay in this UFO house. Uh, there are no bathrooms, so good luck. And, and yeah, it's quite literally a flying saucer. It's a UFO. Oh my god, the entire inside is white. Are you kidding me? No way. This looks like, oh boy. This, the inside being entirely white is uh, not good for me. This looks like... This looks like you're in a sensory deprivation chamber. Like, this is your punishment. You have to stay in this white room where the lights never go out. And you never know when it's nighttime or daytime. But if you're a big fan of X-Files or something, you could always... I'm sure you'd love this place. What is this photo? This is terrifying! Okay. I gotta say, it's kind of cool. And it, But it's $300 a night. I'm not paying that. Does this even legally qualify as a home? Like, a habitable space? <laughs> what? This guy says it's a ripoff. A ripoff for money and terrible communication from the host. Oh no, it's a... It's a ripoff. Brill stay. UFO is incredible. Peaceful location. Wolf was always quick to reply to messages. This guy's name is Wolf. And he has a UFO house. You can't make this stuff up. Alright, let's speed run through a few of these now. If you want to stay inside of a weird box in the middle of a snowy wasteland, you can go to this place. It's in Sognog Fordane, Norway. And it's literally a box. They call it a bird box. It's almost $500 a night. I mean, you got a nice view of the mountain. So you can stay inside your little prison box, I mean your bird box, and stare at a mountain all day long. Cool. Alright, next. Rip by rip. Rest in pod by rip. This person's a psycho. It's $90 a night, and you stay inside of the barrel that makes my whiskey. Yep, you just stay inside of a pod. Like, the weirdest prison I've ever seen. Next. Now, one thing everybody hates having to do when you get to your hotel is unpacking your suitcase. What if instead of bringing a suitcase to your hotel room, your room was a suitcase? You can sleep in a suitcase in Austria. Uh, and I'm guessing the top to it closes, like... Patrick's house in Spongebob? Hey Spongebob, I'm living in a suitcase now. I mean look, it's a really nice view of the Austrian mountains and river there, but when the top closes, you're- you're- that's terrifying. What if it doesn't open? Then you're just trapped inside of a suitcase. You can sleep in our suitcase, a unique work- art. Romantic night. Just you and the nature, breakfast not included. That's scary, I don't like this. That's claustrophobic. Zu schwimmen der Koffe ist ein tolle Idee. So you can actually swim in the river. It's kind of nice. Okay, this one is kind of cool, actually. This is a pirate ship. Yarr, stay on a real pirate ship fully decorated in the theme of the Caribbean. I mean, it's actually, it's kind of cool. Look at that. You know what this is? Have you ever been to a water park where they have the giant pirate ship and every now and then a bucket of water drops onto the kids? That's all that this is. They stole it and then dragged it all the way home into their backyard and now they're selling it as an Airbnb. That's my guess. Look, they even have like a little statue of a pirate. I mean, look at that. You can't convince me that that's not the same thing. Okay, we got another pirate ship. This one, it looks a lot more realistic. and It's in Minnesota. Now, the first one was like a kid's pirate ship for like you know, an amusement park. This looks like a haunted pirate ship. This one is actually on 
an open body of water. And it's a, it looks like a real pirate ship. This looks haunted. This is scary. I don't like this one. This looks like the pirate ship from the Goonies. It's $1,000 a night. $1,200 a night. It's a three-day minimum, so $3,800. Hey kids, would you like to go to Disney World? Or, for the same price, go stay in a rustic, haunted pirate ship on a real body of water for three nights. So this next one is cool. You can see in the backyard they have like one of those slingshot things that you can go in. It's kind of like a zip line. Um, I'm joking. That's actually the entire Airbnb. This is it. You're just inside of this weird gondola balloon thing. Yep, that's you up there. How the hell did you get up there? I don't know. So for $85 a night, you can stay in this weird cocoon in Portugal, where if they have a strong hurricane, you might just end up hurling across the sky like a tennis ball. Hobbit house. Another hobbit house. What's with the friggin' hobbit houses? What is- stop it. <laughs> okay, the last one we're gonna look at is this. It's overlooking Lake George, which is a very nice place um, in New York. It's a castle. I mean, you can look at some of these pictures. It is a real, actual castle. You know, good honeymoon destination, probably. And it's very affordable. If you want to stay for a week, it'll only cost you $87,000. So, it has Wi-Fi, a TV. Imagine you're staying in a, in a castle at $10,000 a night and you spend your day watching TV. Oh my god, there's actually people who commented on it. How is that possible? There are three reviews. I had a lovely stay by Ross. It's a $10,000 per night castle, and his only remark is, I had a lovely stay. The castle in view is beyond any words. The memory of being the castle is our memory forever. Come build your own memory. You won't believe how amazing it is. Okay, yeah, thanks, uh, Ruzi. Is that how you say that? Thanks, Ruzi. Yeah, I'd love to come and experience it myself. Let me just pull out my $10,000 a night. Alright, well if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and comment and all that. Let me know if you would actually stay in any of these places, and if so, which one. Because I'm actually curious, these things just seem so wacko to me. Anyway, subscribe if you like this type of content, and I'll see you again soon enough. Bye. So I'm gonna do a little experiment for the algorithm. And I'm going to make my thumbnail very YouTuber-y, clickbait kind of. Just to see if it, this video performs a lot better than my other videos, just because I make it really clickbaity. Let's try it out. Huh? Wow! Wah? Wah? Huh? Wow! <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh god, and I feel like this is actually gonna work, which makes it even worse, because I don't want to have to do this every time. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not, okay.